Hello and welcome back, I am Lord Ravenwork, and this is Crusader Kings 2 Charlemagne as the Coronians. We're back and better than ever, fighting a war to, uh, revoke the chiefdom of Chelmno over here. So let's see that happen, shall we? The chief who rules it, chief of Galindia, is a Prussian who hates us because of, um, ah, because he desires one of our titles. And we can't give that title away because then it would become independent, so no way in hell will I be giving it away. So, I'd been looking around the map, and the biggest threats that I can foresee are Poland as it forms up over here. They're gonna start by taking over all of Poland, but once they're done with Poland, who do you think's gonna be next? Probably the weaklings to the north. Although, if we're lucky, it might be the weaklings to the west, or the south, or the north. And then there's Lithuania here, who will, in the coming years, probably try to subjugate us, so we're going to seriously want to be prepared for that. Let's see... Not a big fan of Roth. I mean, the bonus marshal is good, but Kind is much better, so let's go for that. Or patient. Did I say kind? Patient. Patient is definitely good, and I'm glad to have it. So. Time to get the war goal. It's a shame we have to siege it down for this. Because that'll wipe out the garrison, which means when we take it at war's end, we're not going to have the troops. Oh, hello. Did you just go to war? Lithuanian conquest of... Lipil. Ah, uh, you're attacking them for this county in the Duchy of Polotsk. Which, by the way, doesn't it kind of seem a bit weird that Polotsk is in Lithuania? I mean, I can see where they're going. The, uh, it was historically in the Grand Duchy of Lithuania. It just seems weird that it's not in the Empire of Russia, considering the Russianness of Polotsk. Eh. Whatever. Vera. We're about to win this war. Slowly. This game runs kinda slowly when you've got Iron Man on and you're running fraps. So, yeah. Luckily, I can just edit out periods of dead silence, so... You don't have to endure that. That was kind of creepy sounding. You guys probably didn't hear it, but there is this gust of wind just outside. It sounded... creepy. I don't know, I, I might have creepy on the mind. It's, you know, it's near Halloween... I've been reading up on some lore to Five Nights on Freddy, and I have to say, that is some crazy stuff. Some of the theories about that game. For a game that, at its facade, seems very simple. And, and I've never actually played the game, but I, I find some of the backstory that you might not necessarily know about from playing it pretty compelling, so... Yeah been doing that. And believe it or not, it's 
been scaring me a little bit. I mean, you may disagree with the concept that that game is scary. There are people out there who say that it's nothing. Which is definitely a bit harsh, but the way I see it is it puts you right into the eyeballs of this character and the person you're playing as you never get to see once. So that's actually a pretty useful idea. You don't even get to know his name until you've won the game. Which is useful because you kind of put yourself in his place. And you wind up finding yourself trapped. Ooh, war is finally over. Are you surrendering? I gain 50 prestige and the chiefdom of Chelmno. Okay. And we can imprison him because he's a traitor. That is funny. So let's step on top of Galindia in February. And, you know, imprison him for, uh, for treason. Or do we... Do we actually have to, uh, imprison him? Can we just outright revoke his title? Since we have a claim on it, no one will object. I have a claim on it? When did I get a claim on it? Ooh, we've also got claims on Marienburg and Semba. Guess who else I'm going to be revoking soon. So... Oh, we don't have enough tribal organization. What's the tribal organization minimum? Well, that's got to change. Eh. Let's just wait a bit. Come on, I'm sure we can get someone else. I mean, not the uh, not Galindi or Marienburg, but someone. Wait. Oh, I just got a devilishly brilliant idea. We incite rebellion here by trying to arrest the traitor. And now, because he's no longer in the realm, the vote passes. And we should be able to seize control of here pretty quickly because, nope, he reinforced. Don't know when he did it, but he reinforced. But now we can revoke titles from this guy. And a maybe. He's rebellious, has a bit too much power for his own good. See where um you're training troops in Zemgal. Yeah, you can keep doing that. Whoa, that gal got stronger. We um. We should probably consider subjugating him soon, so uh, Lithuania doesn't contemplate doing so. I mean, he's got most of Polotsk. You know, you know it would be pretty bad if he were to say, you know. Form the Duchy of Polotsk, then we subjugate him, and we get another duchy that would be lost in Gavelkind. So, he's got no heirs, 
his wife is not pregnant, most likely. So if we end this war soon enough, and we probably should... In like, let's see, how much longer? 31% left, we're reducing 11% every 12 days, so 24 more days, less than a month. He'll be imprisoned, and we just need to wait for him to die and we'll inherit his title. Excellent. That, um, siege event probably won the siege for us. I'm sure we'd have wound up winning it anyways, but... And I enforce demands. Okay, at this point let's drop that. He'll remain in prison for the rest of his life and probably die alone and scared. Meanwhile, it looks like our Just a minute, it would appear that our plot against the Chief of Marienburg is over, so we can plot to revoke Semba. All we need is one person to jump aboard. And we can get our kinsman, who I suspect is probably our brother, but it never really says. So, Latgal, you've got no allies. You've also got no vassals, and have a top levy of 683. We can top that, and we can also bring in vassals. Let's just hope while we do this... Nobody winds up turning around and trying to subjugate us, because, you know, that would be bad. We'll raise our levies, call all, our al all of our vassals to arms, because we can. How far along? 46. Well, that's not happening. Form up our personal troops in Zemgali, Semigalia. I, I need to start calling it by something I know how to pronounce. Zemgal, Zemgali, I don't know. Semigalia? Sem or is it Semigalia? Shit. Well... Wait. Raise tribal armies. You don't have enough... Oh, thank fuck. You can't raise any tribal armies. If you could, that would probably be game war over for us possibly even a game over if he wiped out all of our troops which would be by definition uh, very bad Skelovia well, they all raise troops, so I imagine they're all coming to war. Except for Galindia. I wonder why he might possibly be upset with us. What possible reason could he have for disliking us? Because we usurped his title, declared war on him, we've been ruling for a very short amount of time, over him for a very short amount of time. We imprisoned him. He has claims over our titles and desires some other of our titles. And he thinks we're a foreigner. So we can revoke the chiefdom of Samba. But I think I will wait on that. Ah, you're heading to Zemaichi? Sounds like a great idea. I shall meet you there. Oh, please don't flee, you idiot. We could have taken him!
You know what? Yeah. Let's let him take a step onto our capital while we collect all our allies' armies in Zemitej. And then we'll have a party in Zemgali. Semigalia. Semigalia. I have to keep reminding myself to call it that. Hmm. You're not joining. Eh, you'll probably jump in there as soon as the battle starts. So let's see. We are getting flanked by this 100 men here. But 100 men is nothing. Yeah, you can stop pursuing them. It would be more important to have you... Ah, uh, finally, reinforcements. This won't last longer. Oh no! What happened? Oh, we died in battle! Uh, well, Arunus... You fought bravely and you were loyal to the end. That's to be admired, son. You shall be remembered, Chief Arunus. You shall be remembered. You'll go down as one of the greats. Wait, what is his last name? Luckily, that's something that can always be looked up. Uh, Suvalkija, or Suvalkia, I don't know how it's pronounced. <laughs> Arunas Suvalkija. A great man. Who died bravely for Coronia. Just a minute, I want to make sure that he's not a filthy... Okay, good, he's, he, he's Coronian, so yeah. We can honor him if he were a filthy Lithuanian or, wait, no, Prussian. Filthy Prussian. Um, it is at this point I feel I should... Yeah, sure. It's at this point I should probably mention that these things I'm saying are in terms of the game. Not my real feelings. I have nothing against Lithuanians or Prussians, even though technically what this game classifies as Prussian doesn't really exist anymore. It's a shame these people have been wiped out. They were replaced with Germans a long time ago. And then those Germans got uh, removed by the Russians and replaced with Poles and and Lithuanians, and some Russians, too. But, yeah. That's that. Uh, let's see. You are that guy I hate. Tell you what. You, uh, you don't like your dungeon cell, then you can go to the Oubliette. Which is French for the place to be where people are brought to be forgotten. So, you're going to La Piel. We could pursue, or we could just kind of sit on Latgal for a little bit. And that, that sounds like a good idea. You're not doing anything, are you? So, just a minute, he, this guy had done a conquest war against this guy over Lepiel, but Latgal wound up getting it, which means he had a simultaneous conquest war and beat Lithuania to the punch. Which is good. So, 
so we'll just siege down that gal. But I think that should wait till next week. So until next time, I am Lord Ravenwork, this has been great, and I will see you all later.